So they're bouncing it off the ground using a wide aperture radar from a satellite. And now using advanced processing, they're saying, they're arguing that they can pick up underground structures and actually identify them like a CT scan, effectively stacking into a CT scan to get an underground map. And that's what they're calling this Doppler tomography. So think laser vibrometry, that's from Polytech, but Earth's surface is the window. USGS seismic resolves kilometers, so they can look down one kilometer near stations, so they can pick up seismic vibrations in the Earth. This isn't an unheard of phenomenon. It's just they can't do it at those resolutions, and they're using very low wavelengths because they're actually detecting the, the wavelengths themselves. But now this technique, they're aiming for meters. So Hawass from Egypt, the main Egyptologist there says, oh, no way, it's impossible. NASA SAR agrees. They say penetration's nil. But my EW buddy is signal hunting. It's possible, but unproven. And you can imagine if this is a real technique, there are huge military ramifications, right? If you can actually just see into your adversary's underground systems, you can see where their underground bunkers are. You can see where their missile silos are.